I'm going to read Clark the Shark Dares to Share, written by Bruce Hale, illustrated by Guy Francis. And I'm going to be showing you how to draw some sharks and dolphins in the end of this video. And I love a book about sharing. I have not read this book yet. Oh, look at the puffer fish with this. I think it's a trumpet. Look at the bubbles coming up. That's very sweet. Clark the shark loved school. He loved his teacher and he loved learning. But sometimes Clark got a little mixed up. One marvelous morning, Mrs. Indy, Indy Ink, Inky Dink, that's a great name, Inky Dink, told Clark's class, time for show and share. Show and share. Oh, look at all the different underwater creatures. Oh, look, they have history, math, oceanography, and recess. Benny Blowfish went first. He played a song so sweet and sassy that Clark couldn't help but dance his funky shark dance with a hip and a hop and a skiddly widdly wop. Sit down, please, said Mrs. Inky Dink. But I was sharing too, said Clark. Sharing is caring, said Mrs. Inky Dink, and everyone must learn to wait their turn. I get it, said Clark, but he didn't really. At reading roundup, Amanda Eelwiggle won a scrumptious prize for reading the most books. Mm. Sea slug ice cream, asked Clark. Yum, yum, I want some. That's up to Amanda, said Mrs. Inky Dink. But sharing is caring, cried Clark. Mrs. Inky Dink nodded. Yes, I'm aware, but the giver chooses when to share. Sharing is confusing, said Clark. Sharing can be confusing sometimes, right? In reef hockey, Clark chose to share his spectacular skills. Hockey is awesome, he roared. Clark front faked and back faked. He stick checked and decked. In the end, Clark did everything but pass the puck. His teammates were cranky. Hey, hot shot, let someone else score, why don't you? Said his best friend, Joey Mackerel. But we all shared the win, said Clark. Coach Krabby scowled. A win's not okay unless we all get to play. Sharing is complicated, said Clark. Oh, I see a Death Star. <gasps> I see Darth Vader. After school, Clark and Joey Mackerel played Sea Wars at Joey's house. Wow, is that dark, waiter? asked Clark. Get it, waiter, not Vader, because he wades in the water. Best birthday present ever, said Joey. Want to play with Fluke Seawalker instead of Luke Skywalker? Clark really wanted dark waiter, but Joey asked him to wait his turn. Then, when Joey went to go get them a snack, Clark couldn't resist. Must be my turn. It was, after all, the coolest toy ever. <clears throat> sea Wars rocks, cried Clark. Pow! Bam! Crunch! <gasps> Oops. Uh-oh. I thought that might happen. What do you predict's going to happen next? Hmm. Clark. Oh, wait, he cried. Clark! cried Joey. You broke it. Sorry, said Clark. I was sharing. Joey shook his head. That's not sharing, he said. That's taking and breaking. Clark the shark swam home, befuddled and bewildered. He didn't understand sharing at all. So he's not trying to be mean in any way. He's just confused because sharing can be complicated. And when he arrived, Clark found he wasn't the only one who didn't get it. Mom, cried Clark, my cap. He borrowed it, he bit it, and now it's ruined. Teething or no teething, Clark's mother said, that's no way to treat a cap. She told his brother to ask before borrowing, but she told Clark, you have heaps of caps, and if you have a lot, why not share a lot? But Clark didn't want to hear it. He swam to his room and soaked up a storm. Sharing is caring, Clark grumbled. It's not taking and breaking. But this only reminded him of what he'd done at Joey's house. Clark's head hurt as if a big sharky thought was trying to break free. So sharing is waiting your turn, letting everyone play. 
the giver chooses when, not taking and breaking, and giving what you've got a lot of? Sharing was confusing. But, thought Clark, it also might be worth getting right. Mom, he asked, will you help me bake something? The next day, Clark gave Joey a home-baked krill cake and a great big sharky apology. I think I'll share this with the whole class, said Joey. Really, said Clark? Really, said Joey. And when Amanda Eelwiggle saw all that cake being cut up, she said, you know what goes well with krill cake? No, what, said Clark? Sea slug ice cream. And just like that, she scooped her treat onto everyone's plate. Oh, that was so nice. Clark the shark looked around at all his classmates enjoying cake and ice cream and got a warm, wiggly feeling deep down inside. What is it? Oh, what is it, Clark? asked Miss Inky Dink. With a ginormous grin, Clark broke into the funkiest, sharkiest, funky shark dance ever. And this time, all his classmates joined him with a hip and hop and skiddly widdly wop. <laughs> Sharing is sweet, cried Clark the shark. Aw, I love that story. Okay, so we are going to be drawing two types of sharks, maybe three, I'll show you. And I wanted to read you this one little shark poem. Shark, I swim with a grin up to greet you. See how my jaws open wide? Why don't you come a bit closer? Please take a good look inside. Oh, that's a big fun shark. If you really like him, you could even pause it and try to draw this shape. But I'm going to show you some images that I found. So these were some, I, I Googled shark drawing and I picked out some different shapes that I wanted to show you how to draw. So I'm gonna get my sheet of paper and I might use a Sharpie. I might also use a pen and I might also use a pencil. So I recommend you starting with a pencil, but I want you to be able to see it really well. So when I look at any kind of picture I'm drawing from, I'm looking at the shapes. Um, sometimes I might start with one particular part and, and draw the whole thing, but for this shark, I definitely want to draw the shape of the body first, and I'm gonna do that in pencil. So for this shark shape, it really starts out with almost like a smile, a big long smile, and then a big long hill, right? Really long skinny like a leaf. This one's really similar, but I'm gonna angle it up and then I'm gonna make, I'm just gonna make a rectangle right here just for now so I know where that's gonna be. And then this shark here, this is almost like a curved, kind of like an oval here, but then it curves and comes to a point. So this kind of helps me lay out where I'm gonna put these sharks. You do not have to draw all three of them. You might say, okay, I'm gonna watch how you draw this one, but I really wanna draw the hammerhead. And you might draw the hammerhead really big in the middle of the picture and then come up with a scene. Or you might wanna have all the sharks because this is just a practice for you. Or maybe you wanna draw this one and then while I draw these, you can go in and add detail. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start with my Sharpie here and I'm gonna work on this top shark picture so you can see. This is good for some colors. If you want it to be more of a comic image, you could do the same idea and start with that first shape, kind of how I'm doing. So I know from here to here, I don't need to erase any lines. So I'm gonna start off and go from there to there. Then this kind of comes back, almost like the front of this is a letter V, right? And you could curve that a little bit more. And the mouth comes in like a little V. So I'm gonna go up and down, okay? Then for my fin, that, that's the fin that's sticking out of the water, right? I might even make mine a little bit bigger than that one. And I kind of curved it a little bit, but you could just make it up and down. Then, see, I've got that line here in pencil that really helps me. So I know it's going to come down here, but I'm not going to make this a point because there is an opening where it gets wider to the tail. Now I'm going to come here. So I need to go to about where that top fin is, which is right here. I'm even going to make a little dot so I know. And I'm just going to connect this straighter kind of curve around and stop there. Now this fin starts up higher and angles this way. So I can even say, okay, I'm going from here to here. Oh, that's okay. And then I'm gonna come right back up. So I don't want that line drawn. Come here, same thing, little V, and this line comes up here. And then I go close, but not touching. 
I'm gonna add my other little fin here, another little V. So this is a lot of Vs and ovals, isn't it? Another little itty bitty V. Whoop. And then for this, it goes up and it comes down at an angle. Up, this one looks longer, doesn't it? Down. And I'm connecting it, almost looks like if it curved more, it was a C, but it's almost like just a wide angle. So in and down, okay. Now you've got to have your little lines for the gills, right? That's what makes it look like a shark. I'm just going to do three. And then the eye, I might make my eye lower. And I'm going to leave a little white dot in there so it's a little bit of a highlight. Oh, mine looks like a happy shark. Not very scary. Maybe yours are going to be scarier. This Sharpie is really bleeding, meaning it's blending out on the paper. The paper is absorbing it. So I'm going to use my tiny black pen here to add some teeth. Now you see that little line that kind of separates where the gray, so I might come in here and it's going right through there and just kind of a wavy line. And that's where I know I'm gonna have that gray and kind of the white bottom. A lot of uh, fish in the sea have a white belly and a darker cover. So if something's underneath and it looks up, it looks kind of bright like the sky. They don't realize there's a big creature there. So there's my shark. I drew my eye a lot bigger. You might go a little bit smaller. Okay, I'm gonna go a little bit quicker on this one, but just so you get the idea. This is more complicated, um, so don't worry if you're having a little bit of a harder time on something like this. And I'm gonna use, let's see, I guess I'll use my Sharpie so you can see really well. All right, so on this one, I am starting about here, curving up, coming back, coming in, going out. You can always replay. I'm going to go in and add those teeth again. You know they've got rows and rows and rows and rows of teeth. And I might even use this pen to go in and give some shadows because my Sharpie will just bleed too much. So I'll go and add some shadows. And then for the eye, they have kind of those real dark eyes, so I'm not going to have much of a highlight in there. It's going to be pretty dark. Okay, so again, I'm just looking at shapes. I'm looking at lines. Put this little line in here. Um, I've practiced drawing looking at images a lot, so when I draw this, you know, it might look a little bit easier of me doing it than when you try it, but you shouldn't be drawing just like this. Maybe you are, but I, you know, if you're in elementary school, you should be drawing like you're in elementary school. There's my little fin. You could have just done it at going out and coming back in. Here's that little fin again. You want to make it a little more realistic? Look how they have like these little marks in there, those little kind of cutouts. Those help you identify a shark. They're not all the same. And then coming back here, I've got that pencil line, which really helps. I'm going to go out for my little fins here. Same thing, out, out. Oh, they're leaving those little triangles in there. Come in, come in. And then I'm going to add my other little fin here. So that kind of just is similar, right? On my hammerhead, this is kind of wavy. And this is this part, look at this, it looks like a teardrop because you see the, the side of it and there's a the little eye. And then this goes up, this almost looks like a big cylinder. And then you've got the body here. Same thing, just adding in my little fin, my little back fin. I'm just gonna go quick on this so I can move on to the dolphin. And adding my little fins in here. Going a little bit quicker here. A little line, make this fin come down. A little fin out here, a lot of triangle shapes. And then I could go in and I'm gonna find a gray crayon here. Oh, right on top, woohoo. I can go in here now, if I wanna do some shading, I can push really hard with my crayon on the bottom and then I let that pressure up so it's darker here and then I let that pressure up so it gets lighter. And you can see they've shaded here, darker on the side of this, lightens up. I'm getting a little texture off my table, but if you're on a smooth table or counter, you won't get those lines like me. This is going a lot more realistic, isn't it? Okay, so now let's look at our dolphins. And I'm gonna go to another poem right here of dolphins. The wonderful thing about dolphins is hearing them trying to speak. It's not how do you do, as I'd say to you, it's more of a click whistle squeak. Squeak, squeak. These are very sweet. 
All right, so if you are going to try out the dolphin, and I'm going to try it right on my paper right here. It is the same idea as the sharks, right? The same idea. So I'm having that shape. And you know what? I'm going to do it on this individual paper right here. It's a little bit smaller. I'm drawing that shape. And this is like a big raindrop. Can you see that? Big raindrop. Triangle, almost like two triangles for the fins. Fin, I'm just going to draw a letter V. V, just so I know where everything is. And a U for the nose. Teardrop, and then those basic shapes. Now when I come in here, so for the little nose here, it kind of curves around like a V, right? But then this kind of jumps up into a round. And you can go all the way down if you want. I'm going to make my little fin triangle out kind of with a curve and go down here. The biggest mistake I see with dolphins is that they um, people don't get narrow enough. They don't come close enough together for the bottom of the tail. And then for this part, I'm going to go like here. But I need to draw that fin first, right? So let me draw from here. Curve over, out, and then I'm just going to make a little wave in. All right. So now see how they're almost touching. They're pretty close to each other. I'm going to go out and in. They look like flower petals, don't they? Out and in. And then for my mouth here, it starts kind of down here and curves up. And then I'm going to go to my pen again because I don't want the Sharpie to bleed. Circle. And now they're showing another circle on the inside, if you can see, and then a highlight. A little bit happier eyes than the shark, right? Much be much happier to see a dolphin in the water next to you than a shark. <laughs> okay, and there's a little line at the top here, and a little line showing, look at that white belly again, that light belly. You'll see that on a lot of creatures. Think about a penguin. They're black and white, white right? When they swim, that white belly's on the bottom. Okay, so now I can go in. I like this picture with the water and the rocks. I thought that'd be kind of fun if it, if I drew some kind of rocks here. And then I don't really have room for a lot of people will draw a, um, a dolphin with like a sunset and a palm tree. I'm actually just going to draw some other like tropical plants as if it's in Hawaii. And then maybe I'll have some flowers growing. I've got some flowers that look like this. I'm going to draw some little flowers like that, little plants. So maybe some tropical plants. If you wanted to add a sunset back there, and you can have some little lines for the water maybe the little splashes where he came out of the water here and maybe another little fish or maybe i'm gonna have i love a little crab so i'm gonna have a little i'm gonna have a little crab here so be creative with your background same thing with the shark you know you could draw all different kinds of things around and if you are going for a sunset type of background my biggest tip is using color pencils or crayons and blending so you're gonna do that same thing with pressure you're gonna press light and dark so I can go back here and see how I'm getting lighter with the red and I would go through and go really carefully and then I could blend some orange on top of that and I'm overlapping and you could get some pinks and purples now my little crab is gonna blend if I make him red but they're not really red in in nature that's not till you get get them in boiling water so we're gonna make him a blue color so I'm just pressing really lightly and going all the way to the end. So really be careful with your coloring and adding your fun detail. Good luck on these big sea creatures. I can't wait to see them.